We're jumping right into today's video. I was out looking for crystals on a creek and stumbled upon some weird object in the flood line. Holy moly. It's a gold flume. Nice way to cool off for sure. And see what I'm looking for is just cracks and crevice in this bedrock. It's real sandy above here, and as it goes down, it's all hard rock, all through here, and another waterfall down there. So anywhere there's a crack or a crevice, which, looking around, like that, I've already started digging on that, or there'd be some magnetite and black sand deposited over the lip. So then I dig out as deep as I can into that crack to find the heavies and take it to the flume. It goes way back up under that ledge. Nice quartz. Mm. I'm already starting to see some specks right on this inner lip, right there. I don't think you can see that, but there's two little flakes right in there. It's a good sign for finding this flume washed up in the flood line. <laughs> Another really good spot, you can see how the quartz deposited with the black sand right after the ledge. Another spot I would dig out if I'm prospecting this type of little creek. I can't believe I found a gold flume just walking around looking for crystals. I guess it's meant to be. We'll find out in a little bit. We'll take the concentrates home and pan them out. I've seen a few flakes, so I know it's worth it. But here we go. Now that's some good looking pay dirt right there. Look at that color. On another adventure. Clean in crevices. Look at that pretty garnet. Right there, right in the middle. I like seeing those garnets and all that black sand. So I don't lose gold, I'm going to clean the flume up occasionally. We're going to empty it into a bucket, clean it out real good, and then start over again. I sure do like what I'm seeing. Let's go get some more gold. Excited to get home and pan this out and see what we got. Just look at the black sand depositing though. So I've been cherry picking some of the better spots that I can find. And I've seen some really, really nice garnet going in there. Nothing too big, but some good pieces. But I got the flow going right now on the plume. Still can't believe that I just found this in the flood line. Guess it was meant to be today. Feed it a little slower. It works its way right through. I'm quite impressed how well this is working. Somebody definitely gave up their spot. I 
think you can see that right in the center. You can barely see. Look at how dark those concentrates are. All right, the day's coming to an end, but I really like what I got into at the very end here. I'm undercutting that ledge. This is what I've been working most of the day. A little bit up here, I've been sniping out a few good spots. But down here, I've gotten into a really different color clay. It's almost a brownish orange, and that's at the very, very bottom. See how different cloudy that is? Hopefully that's what's holding the gold. Got the free flume dialed in. One last scoop for good luck. We'll probably be back here if it pans well. There it is. Good luck. Watch it clean up. We'll add it to our concentrates. Now let's not drop this. That'd be a waste of a few hours. The one man band. This part was not that easy to do by myself, but I made it work. We did three sessions of cleaning out the flume today, about five hours of work. So this should give us a great idea of what this area may hold. I definitely did see some color on these washouts, so I think we've done pretty well, because a lot of times you don't even see that color. No pickers, no nuggets. But we'll see what we get on this clean out. And if it works out, we won't be using the free flume next time. We'll take some real equipment and see what we can do. You definitely don't want to miss the end of the flume. A lot of the heavies get trapped there. One last splash. So we're back at the house now. I just took a spoonful out of the concentrates to see what we're looking at. Lots of black sand, lots of garnet, lots of heavies. Now where's that gold? Well, you see some color, that's a good sign. Let's continue. Still can't get over the color of the concentrates. Black sand makes a lot of work though. It's really tough to separate the gold from the black sand. See, I didn't have my snipe bottle with me to pick out the little flakes out of the flume while it was working. I wasn't planning on this trip, but that's what makes it even better. Sometimes adventures just come to you. And now we're going for the reward. Lots of beautiful little garnet chunks. I'm going to take my time and pull some of them out. See what I'm talking about? Just a plethora of minerals. Magnetite, garnet, quartz, feldspar, mica, and gold. Hey, you, I didn't ask you to come in here. Be free. 
That was cool. Specs are everywhere, though. This is good. That's a snipe bottle, if you're wondering. Here's some of the garnets that I'm pulling out. Cubes of pyrite and magnetite. And some gold. Every spoonful has a couple chunks in it. No big pickers yet, but I'll keep piling these guys up. Each pan's taking me like 20 minutes to separate the gold from the black sand. So I'm just going to get lazy and start sucking up anything close to the gold in a snipe bottle. And then we'll dump it out later. Because look what's happening. So much flower gold in the black sand. Somebody really exposed their spot to me by losing their gold flume. To think I was looking for some amethyst in the gold belt, and this is what I stumble upon. I always had a hunch there was some gold there, but look at that color. I really wasn't prepared for this. I mean, I didn't even go with a snipe bottle. No thoughts in my mind about gold. And it's not that easy to find, but boy, this adventure worked out. Look at that. So now with my snipe bottle, I'm going to try and separate all these little pieces from the black sand. While I see them, I'm going to snipe them. The bottom of the concentrate bucket couldn't be better. Look at the size of some of these flakes. I wouldn't call them pickers, but they're definitely not flower gold. I would say this area consisted of about 80% flower gold and 20% flakes. This snipe bottle is getting quite full. One of the best days I've had. So don't lose your flume on a river or leave it or let it get washed away. Because you're really going to show something to somebody that might not have needed to know. Now let's dump out the snipe bottle. There's the day. Gold fever has struck again. Now to separate the black sand. And let me show you what it looks like without the black sand. Well, most of the black sand. That's a very productive afternoon. We're definitely going back to this spot. With the right equipment. Forget the amethyst. If the creek can produce gold like that in a makeshift cheap gutter flume, there's a lot of potential. So I definitely think you should like and subscribe so you don't miss the next upcoming adventure. Check out some of the minerals. Look at that little cube of magnetite and garnet. Beautiful color. It's crazy how that can tumble down a creek. So get outside so that next adventure can find you. Thank you for watching.